Graziano, Greg McElroy, and Jeff Saturday. And Dan, I will start with you. What are you hearing out of Chicago after a little bit of a back and forth with the coach and himself to discuss whether or not he will name a starting quarterback before the opener? Well, Greeny, the main issue in Chicago is that no one has separated himself from the other guy in the quarterback competition. So obviously a compressed off season, a shortened training camp in terms of the time they've been able to spend on the field, uh, and not a lot of data from this summer that would help the coaches make an easy decision. So Matt Nagy at this point isn't decided on who he wants to start. Uh, and if he is, then, you know, he's not as convinced as, as he hoped he would be. Trubisky's looked good from my understanding in some ways. Foles uh, in some other ways. Maybe uh, a little bit more trustworthy with Foles due to the, um, you know, due to the, the history that he has and the history that so many members of this coaching staff have with him. But Trubisky offers a little bit more in terms of ceiling. I've been told multiple times Trubisky's had a good camp. This is not the first year I've been told that. So the question you have to face if you're Matt Nagy is, do you buy it this time, do you trust it this time, or do you go with the more known quantity? Well, let's see what Jeff Saturday thinks. What do you buy here? What, what are you hearing out of there, and what do you think should be going on? Yeah, Nagy's got to be frustrated. You didn't, you didn't bring uh, Foles over not to be your starter. So he, he obviously doesn't like this. And all else being equal, Greeny, Trubisky's got to be your guy. I mean, the truth is, you know, for, from where you went in the draft going up to get him with pace, the whole situation, if it's what it is, that's what has to happen on this football team. Here's, here's the biggest issue. If you're a player in the locker room, you already know who the best one is. You just want the coach to go tell the world so nobody has to hide it or slip up in an interview. But the truth is, everybody in that locker room, they understand what's happening on the football field. But all else being equal, you got to go with Trubisky, in my opinion. Greg, how about you? Well, I think there's some interesting parallels that we need to acknowledge here. Look, Trubisky is a 26-year-old player, and there's a player that I look back, and I think he compares somewhat favorably to him, at least in the early part of his career, and that's Alex Smith. Remember Alex Smith in San Francisco? By the way, it took him six years to become a productive starter, and the only thing that got him going was the drafting of Colin Kaepernick in 2011. If you look at the numbers, Alex Smith had 51 touchdowns against 53 interceptions had under 60% completion rate in his first five seasons as a starter. Remember, he missed 2008 because of an injury. But I think Trubisky could have that type of growth. Maybe bringing in Foles lit a fire under Trubisky that we haven't acknowledged yet, and maybe the best is yet to come. But I think we lose sight of who Trubisky could eventually be because of who was drafted behind him. Not all that unlike what happened with Alex Smith considering the Aaron Rodgers effect that it had and the shadow it cast over his career. Right, to a it's extent. a good parallel. I like it. I, I see the comparison that you're making there. But in this case, they went out and got a guy that, Jeff, you have to believe they went out and got Nick Foles because they believed he would become their starter this season. So if it doesn't go that way, to you, does this feel as though it already hasn't worked out the way the coaching staff wanted it? Absolutely. There's, I mean, Dan made mention of it early. Nagy brings this guy because this coaching staff has relationships with him. They understand who Foles is. They felt comfortable with him. I guarantee you, they bring him in thinking, hey, this is going to be our guy. Watch when he walks in the room. Watch when he gets on the field. He's going to clearly be the favorite. That has not happened. That means that is a miss from what they expected. Again, Trubisky, you know, if, to Greg's point, he's fighting. He's doing those things. Maybe he does have a different trick. But when you talk about what he can do with his feet and what, uh, what he offers this football team, if it's equal, he's got to be your guy. All right, we'll wait and see what they wind up doing there. Again, now he says, the coach says, he will announce the starting quarterback before the game against the Lions, so perhaps as soon as next Monday. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.